Hi, I'm Elizabeth Teal, and I'm director of the Pediatric Epilepsy Program at the Mass General Hospital in Boston. Uh, and I'm at the American Epilepsy Society meeting in Houston, um, where we were very excited today to present our results of the GW-sponsored trial of Epidiolex, or cannabidiol, in the treatment of refractory epilepsy and Lennox-Gastaut syndrome. Um, as many of you know, Lennox-Gastaut syndrome is a very difficult to treat epilepsy syndrome that affects young children and is typically refractory to medication, and oftentimes these children end up being on numerous medications uh, and yet continue to have seizures. Uh, so there is an unmet need in the treatment of Lennox-Gastaut syndrome as there is for many of other pediatric epilepsies. Uh, we were very excited to be able to participate in the trial sponsored by GW, uh, and there had been evidence in open label studies that their product CBD, or Epidiolex, which is purified from marijuana, uh, was effective in treating childhood epilepsies, and in some open label experience that it was effective or could be effective in Lennox Gastaut or Dravet syndrome. So GW Pharma now has sponsored two clinical trials uh, in the treatment of Lennox Gastaut syndrome with Epidiolex, uh, and one clinical trial in Dravet, the results of which have been reported. Uh, there's also another Dravet trial that's ongoing. The trial that we discussed or presented today was the first Lennox Gastaut trial. Uh, and it was very exciting. The, the primary endpoint was a reduction, a median reduction in drop seizures. Um, for as you know, drop seizures are one of the common seizure types in Lennox Gastaut, and it's also a seizure that is easily countable um, because the child falls with the seizure. Uh, and what was seen was during the treatment time with Epidiolex, during the maintenance phase or treatment period, there was a 44% reduction in drop seizures, which was statistically significant um, compared to the reduction in placebo. Uh, so it does appear uh, from this study that Epidiolex will, can be effective treatment in treating the seizures in LGS. In addition to drop seizures, children with Lennox Gastaut have other seizure types, uh, and we also appreciated a significant reduction in total seizures um, compared to placebo with Epidiolex. In addition to efficacy, uh, we were also very interested in looking at safety and tolerability, and we found that overall the Epidiolex or CBD was very well tolerated. There were adverse effects, as there are in, with all medications, uh, the most common being diarrhea, which we believe is likely related to the oil uh, that the Epidiolex is in, uh, um, drowsiness, um, which in many cases I believe is likely due to drug-drug interactions with some of our other medications, uh, as well as other um, adverse events. And, and overall, the majority of children remained in the trial. There were some children that withdrew from the trial due to adverse effects, um, but overall we were very impressed with the safety and efficacy of the medication. So now that the trial with Lannis Gastaut has been reported and the results made, as well as the results of the first Dravet trial, uh, I think we're very excited to see the results um, from the second Lannis Gastaut trial. The top level results have been released, and that trial was also positive. Uh, showing the primary endpoint was met. Uh, so both Lennox Gastaut trials appear to have shown that the epidiolex can be effective in treating seizures in Lennox Gastaut. Uh, we'll learn from the second Dravet trial if that's also true. Um, based on that data, I believe that the um, GW Pharma is having discussions with the FDA uh, and plan on submitting for an indication, possibly for Lennox Gastaut and Dravet, uh, sometime the first quarter of 2017. Uh, so we are very anxiously awaiting that, as is the epilepsy community, because uh, there's a lot of interest in this medication um, because as opposed to medical marijuana, which are extracts of the marijuana plant containing all the chemicals, this, as you know, is purified cannabidiol from the marijuana plant. Also through the expanded access program, which was the open label experience with cannabidiol, um, I had 18 patients with a disorder called tuberous sclerosis complex, which is a genetic disorder where 85% of individuals with that disorder have epilepsy, two-thirds of the time refractory epilepsy. Um, of the 18 in my expanded access program, nine had a greater than 50% reduction in seizures. Uh, so based on that and the possibility that CBD may also be effective in that disorder, uh, GW is also now conducting randomized controlled trials in tuberous sclerosis complex, uh, and those trials are currently enrolling. Uh, so I'm really excited uh, to see when we have that trial complete and results from that if the results of the trial reflect my experience with my, my patients in the expanded access program. I think there's a lot of interest uh, among the part of the epilepsy community, definitely, uh, and among the part of many medical professionals 
um, as to will this be a treatment option for people with epilepsy from other causes. Um, most of us would say if something's effective in lennox gastaut and Dravet syndrome, it's very likely to be effective in other epilepsies. And certainly in the patient community, there's a significant interest um, in, in having CBD or Epidiolex be a treatment option uh, for their child or themselves who have epilepsy as well. So I think it will be a very exciting thing to see over the next few years um, where Epidiolex ends up fitting in our epilepsy armamentarian treatment possibilities for our patients.